I had this Arizona shower door installed. I couldn't find many videos detailing how it looks once it's done. I'm reasonably happy with it. The design is good enough and I went with the frameless one. I'll put a link in the description. And it was hard to find this design because the width of this tub is, is 60, 60 inches. So a couple things I don't like about the workmanship. Now it could be what came with it, but it could also be that they made an error. The first thing is they cut this bottom bit too short. So what they had to do is pack the end with um, sealant, the little caulking. And that's terrible. I think they could have done a much better job because I like to replace these little sealants every year or so. And that's going to be a pain in the ass to, to pluck out and replace. All right. The other thing is I'm pretty sure it's standard for these screws to have bumpers. The glass does not make contact with it, but I don't like that it's naked. It's just naked there because after all, water is going to splash here. So it's going to rust and look ugly. All right. The other thing that they didn't do, well, this one too is exposed. There's a screw in here. You can kind of see it. The other thing that they did, they did do wrong, I think, is they should have flipped this at the very least because when you close this door, so right now, it, this is designed for, for the outside door to go all the way in. You can kind of see it all the way in. And then the inside door goes all the way in right there, right? But then you can see that the handle is on the inside. So once I'm in the, sh in the, in the shower, and I close it as designed. The handle is now here. And I'm pretty sure you could have reversed this. They could have asked me, or at least use your common sense to install it the right way. Because I'm not gonna get out near the toilet to do this, right? I'm not gonna get out this way. I'm gonna get out on this side. All right, so if you can also see that the towel rack has a, a small enough lip that could work like a handle. So what they could have done, and I'm gonna do eventually, is flip this. So this is on this side, so I can open it. Uh, the other thing they didn't do, or did do wrong, I think, is there's another exposed bit right there. I don't even think that was meant to be pierced. I don't think so. Maybe, I don't know. But they could have put some, some um, sealant here to prevent water from getting in. And the last thing I'm not too happy with is there are no bumpers anywhere. So if I move this along, it just feels like it's gonna hit on here. I don't think it's gonna break, but it would be nice if there was some kind of bumper. I'm pretty sure it must have come with it. And if it didn't come with it, say it was kind of some kind of design flaw, I think that's terrible. There are no bumpers anywhere. I guess that's what you get for getting a frameless glass. But I wish there were bumpers, right? So if, if I was gonna use it in this, in this position, where naturally I'm gonna open it this way, the door, the inside door does not go in all the way. So there's a good chance water's gonna splash this way. And of course, it's gonna splash that way. I don't wanna test it, but I just think it would have been a, a better idea to do it that way. All right, the last thing I think, well, actually I said that was the last thing, doesn't matter. There's a lot of give here with this glass. Now it could be, it could be, you can kind of see that if I push it, let me see. Right? It could be that how it's designed, but just seems that there's a lot of play when you move this glass back and forth. It's, it slides well, it slides perfectly. And I'm, like I said, I'm reasonably happy with it. Um, it doesn't look like it should rust. It's easy to clean. And, uh, but I think, I should have just done it myself. I was just a little bit afraid. I should have done it myself. It's not that complicated. So how it works is there are two, two side rails, one here, one on the other side. You measure that up properly, screw it in, 
then this top rail goes there it doesn't look like it's screwed to the wall no it's not and then the bottom rail slides in after you cut it to the right width right at the right length and then you put the glass in it's not that complicated but i was just a little bit nervous because i didn't have the right tools and i thought about buying the tools or renting the tools to do it would it cost me more just the same as paying someone to do it in any case i'm just going to make a minor adjustment switch this around and i think it should be just fine all right arizona sliding shower door that fits on top of a bathtub cool